Ed the dog and Buddy the squirrel live in a swell house in a swell world. Ed wakes up every single day and vows to be the best in every way. One best buddy, one best Ed. One best buddy, one best Ed. From the morning till they go to bed, ah, one best buddy, one best Ed. Have you ever seen a squirrel go nuts? No! It's here to help, I'll tell you what. Ah. Your best friend, that's what he said. These are the adventures of Best Ed. One best buddy, one best Ed. One best buddy, one best Ed. From the morning till they go to bed, ah, one best buddy, one best Ed. One best buddy, one best Ed. Just the way you like it, superheated and steeped inside this tea lover's mug of volcanic stone in order to lock in all the 700 degree goodness. Uh... Oh, and here's your morning paper. <laughs> I know how you feel, buddy. There's nothing like the promise of a new day. And today is going to be a great day. Take a look at our horoscope. Good fortune will find you today. And since both of us were born on the same day, that means that today is our lucky day! Since when are third degree burns considered lucky? Hmm, not since medieval times, I imagine. Let's go, buddy! If we're not out and about, all the good fortune won't know where to find us! <laughs> Nothing's happening, buddy! Why is the good fortune taking so long? It's only been an hour and a half. I'd give it more time. <laughs> Maybe move around a little. Do some light yard work so the good fortune will know you're there. <laughs> good idea, buddy! <laughs> Boy, you're smart! Ed, what are you doing? Now listen to me carefully, Ed. Turn the blower on. Well, bake my beans. There's your trouble. We sucked up a nut. That's no ordinary nut. It's an acorn. A solid gold acorn. What's all this racket? I spill my worm medicine. I sensed a great disturbance while buffing my crystal ball and came right over. Look, Ed struck gold. Say what? He didn't strike gold. He just found something made of gold. Jiminy Christmas, buddy. Our horoscope was right. This really is our lucky day. This isn't our lucky day. It's just a day and just a coincidence. A lucky coincidence on our lucky day. That's two luckies already. And if anybody can tell us where this lucky nut came from, Buddy can. He's a nut expert. I'm not a nut expert, more of a Gather nut. Gather around, neighbors. Buddy is about to wow you wow us with his knowledge of nuts. Go on, Buddy. Actually, tell us what you know about this golden goodie. Well, Get ready. Actually, Get ready to be wowed, gang. Okay. I, this is it. Yeah. So, Here it comes. Actually, Here it is. Actually, Go, Buddy. Yes. Okay. <laughs> As I said, I'm no expert. Aww. But unless I'm mistaken, this golden nut looks exactly like one of the nuts from the legendary lost treasure of Fort Swellville. <gasps> it was 1899, and pesky savages had the fort and its weary settlers surrounded, pitched in a last stand battle in defense of their home and their stash of solid gold acorns. Known for his mad dog defense of his property, Colonel Thirsty would rather have destroyed the fort than let the gold fall into enemy hands. We hold out the dynamite and blast the place to smithereens. Oh. 
but cooler heads prevailed, and the task of hiding the treasure fell upon the last man standing. Does anyone need nursing or a festering limb removed? I'm here to help! <laughs> After burying the gold, the plucky fort nurse cleverly marked the spot in such a way that he, <laughs> and only he, could find the treasure again. But that day would never come, and the treasure was lost forever. Until today, our lucky day! That means the gold must be buried right here in this yard. We get to dig for buried treasure! Oh no, we're not! We're not digging up the yard! It's all for one and fun for all! And whatever we find, we'll divide six ways! Fifty, 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 fifty... Fifty! All right, but if we do this, we have to do it right. Patience is the key, people. The last thing we need is gold fever sending everyone off on a wild goose chase. <laughs> Where no holes should be! I fear this is hopeless! It'll take all night to dig up the yard! No it won't, friends! I'm here to help! It's found something! It really is his lucky day! What's that smell? Oh, oh Mr. Thirsty. Thirsty! What? Oh, sure! Blame the neighbor dog! It's coming from Ed's hole, not mine! <gasps> Ed? There are gas lines all over the neighborhood. You didn't just hit one, did you? I'm not sure. This smell is really making my eyes water. Let me just crack a match to get rid of it. Ed, no! <laughs> oh, great! Look at our yard! Some lucky day, huh? I mean, come on, people. Don't you think if there was gold in this yard, we would have found it by now? <laughs> it's in one of your yards. Yeah, Lucky Ed just saved us from digging in the wrong place. What are you doing? Rubbing Ed for luck. Maybe the treasure is in my yard. Or maybe it's in my yard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or in our litter box. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Dig all night if you want to. But there's no treasure. And good luck doesn't rub off. Mm-hmm. Now that sounds like good luck to me. I guess right they'll find that old treasure in no time. I guess good luck really does rub off. Hey, buddy. You see? Happy now? There was no treasure. No lucky day. And what have you got to show for it? Lots of big holes. And dirty paws. All because of him. <laughs> Me? Yes, you. If you had been more convincing and assertive. Vis a vis? The folly of us believing it was Ed's lucky day. None of this would have happened. <laughs> 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 Friends, neighbors, please! Can't you see this golden acorn treasure hunt is tearing us apart? Oh, sure, things look bad now, but every dark cloud has a silver liver. And like this acorn, we all have to work together to peel away the troublesome layers to get to all the chunk money goodness inside. <gasps> well, I'll be a monkey's mittens. This isn't long lost gold. <laughs> It's one of Buddy's long-lost chocolate birthday nuts! How lucky is that? Gather round, gang, and share the spoils! We'll split it 50, 50, 50, 50, 50... 50? Now what unearthed is this? Leaping Law Dwarf! It's the treasure! This really was our lucky day! Yes. No, 
now we'll have something to dig for tomorrow! <laughs> Thanks, Ed. I'm busy. Are you sure? It's only a nickel. It's quite a value. <gasps> Ed, look who just walked in. It's Lady Beavertooth, the chairwoman of the Knights of the Royal Nut Club. Don't look. It's been my lifelong dream to become a member of that club. And the person who can make that dream come true is in the store right now. Who? Lady Beaver Teeth? Beaver Tooth. Lady Beaver Tooth! Yes? <sighs> can I help you? You actually, actually, I no, I'm. <laughs> can I help you? No, no. Go! Go! Okay! My best buddy buddy here knows more about nuts than anybody I know. He's a real nut nut, and it's his lifelong dream to become a member of your club, which I think would be better off for having a nutty buddy like my buddy buddy is a member. Right, buddy? <laughs> it's Doug, actually. <laughs> I admire your candor. I don't know what that means! New members would normally be scrutinized at our monthly membership screening tonight. If not for the bingo people taking over the school gym. You could have them meeting at our house, couldn't they, buddy? Now, Ed, I'm sure that Lady Beavertooth isn't the least bit interested in holding any of her important events. I accept. We'll be there at seven. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. I can't wait till seven o'clock. Can you, buddy? <laughs> A Knights of the Royal Nut Club meeting? In our house? Tonight? You're gonna be famous! I'm not gonna be famous. We should celebrate. There's nothing to celebrate. And what's the one thing that makes a happy celebration even more happy? Oh, no. Please, no nuts. The Happy Santa! <laughs> And I'm really not in the mood for the happy sandals. And certainly not the... Happy sandals theme music! Come on, buddy. You know the word. Look, I appreciate you speaking up for me today. I really do. And I'm actually pretty excited about getting a chance to join that club. But I'm also really nervous. And we have a lot to do before they get here. Say no more, buddy. I'm here to help. And I just know you're gonna really wowie wow them and become the next big knight of the Royal Nut Club member. As long as nothing bad happens, you know, to make Lady Beaverbreath not like you because of some unfortunate mishap or something. <gasps> but what could happen? <laughs> Now I feel better. Now as you can see by my list of things to do, we have a lot of things to do and precious little time to do it in. So, I'll need your help, Ed. I will help you, buddy. Nevertheless, nothing bad can happen. Now let's get cracking. Do you want me to make the snacks, buddy? No, that will be my job. Fill the ice cube trays. Did that too. Puff up the pillows. Pillows puff. Fresh in the toilet rolls and fold those neat pointy triangles on the end, like in the fine hotels. Toilet triangle task tackled. Keepers, buddy. It looks like all the really important things to do have been done. Not all of them. 
not the most important thing to do of all. Combing the carpet! <gasps> yeah. Look closely. See all those crooked, unsightly rows? Oh, my. I see them, buddy. And we can't have that. It's up to you to straighten them out with this. Can I count on you, Ed? You can count on me, buddy. I'm here to help. Good. Then get to work. <laughs> Almost done in here, Ed. How's the carpet grooming coming? <laughs> I'm almost done too, buddy. Sorry that I took so long and that there's no vital chores left for me to help you with. That was the idea. What? Uh, I mean, good. As long as nothing's on fire, you did good. Hmm, what to do, what to do? Lady Beavertooth will be here soon, Ed. Better start tying up any loose ends, okay? Okay, buddy! Hmm, where in Pat's pocket did you come from? <laughs> Now then, I'll just set this for deep pile and... Oh, isn't that curious? You know something, Ed? Once in a while, we make a pretty good team. And for once, I Bye. think things are really gonna go our way. Ah! Uh, is that the vacuum cleaner? I don't recall handing out any vacuum cleaner assignments. <laughs> Ed, stop this thing before it ruins everything! I can't do it, buddy! My gloves are still slick with spit! Just tell me what wire to cut! Okay, buddy! But it says here if we try to fix it ourselves, the warranty will be void! Ah! The blue one! Cut the blue one! Ah! Or is it the red one? <laughs> I can't see a thing with all this sweat in my eyes! Well, I'll be. Remarkably, this baby photo of us survived. And no one was hurt. Right, buddy? <gasps> What'll I do? Lady Beavertooth will be here in ten minutes. I can't say that I know what to do, buddy. But I do know what you need. Inspiration! Oh, no. Please, no. The mighty measle moles! <laughs> Oh, no, buddy. We sit like this. <laughs> According to my Mighty Measle Moles viewer fan guide, the Mighty Measle Moles can only be truly appreciated at close range, creating the illusion that you're really there. Oops, this is great! Ed, I really don't think this is gonna help. Last time on the Mighty Measle Moles! <laughs> The friction between these two cultures is at the breaking point, Captain. The planet is in ruin! Men! <laughs> Thanks to the mighty Mesomoles and the warring culture conformal ray, another planet has been saved! This just goes to show you what a happy attitude can do for you, Jim. For all of us, Ensign Henson, we have sure cleaned up this planet fast. <laughs> the end! Oh, boy! That was the best episode yet! It really had me guessing. Pretty inspiring, eh, buddy? Oh, yeah! Really inspiring! Quick, Ed, bring out our marvelous device! The time-saving doodad that'll make everything happy and make all this go away! Bring it on out, Ed! What are these? Like size five? Wee <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Lady Beaverface, uh, teeth, I mean, uh, tooth, here so soon. So, what do you think of your newest nut member so far, huh? <laughs> I think our nut club could do with one less nut. Good day. <laughs> Cheer up, buddy. You'll really wowie wow wow them next time. Until then, you know what you need? Oh, no. Please, no. I had the dog and buddy the squirrel Live in a swell house in a swell world Ed wakes up every single day And vows to be the best in every way One best buddy, one best Ed One best buddy, one best Ed From the morning till they go to bed ah, One best buddy, one best Ed Have you ever seen a squirrel go nuts? No! Ed's here to help, I'll tell you what ah. Your best friend, that's what he said These are the adventures of best Ed One best buddy, one best Ed one best buddy, one bested. From the morning till they go to bed, ah, one best buddy, one bested. One best buddy, one bested. Ah, there's nothing like coming home to a little peace and quiet after a long, hard day. Hmm? Hold it right there, Volk! Pedestrian, I'm here to help. Ed, what are you doing? What have you done to the living room? And is this wet paint? It's a crosswalk, buddy. And I'm practicing my crossing dog skills in case my lifelong dream of finally becoming a crossing dog finally comes through, finally. <laughs> Not this again. What happened to Heine, the regular crossing dog? He's going back to Scotland, a reunion with his old caber tossing team. Which is why he'll need someone to fill in for a few days. Oh, and we're out of eggs. Look, Ed, I'm the first to admit that you've gotten pretty good at this. But don't get your hopes up. Because every year you wait for the call, hoping this phone will ring. And every year, it never does. That'll be for you. Raise your rate, Paul, and repeat after me, laddie. Hmm. I, Ed. You, Ed. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. To escort the school's weans to the safety of the other side. Sure, it'd be so, says I. So help me, Heine. So help your Heine. Then, by the power vested in me, and by school principal Piggy... It's Peggy, actually. Aye, Piggy! That's what I said! I hereby appoint Ed as our official, temporary, lollipop leader! <laughs> Wow, I'm happy for Ed and all, but is this really necessary? I mean, <laughs> he's just helping kids cross the road. 
just helping kids to cross the road. Just helping kids to cross the road! Is that what you said? Not with all the attitude, but... Let me tell you a word or two, lady. Come tomorrow at dawn. Young Ed will be solely responsible for the safety of hundreds of our local lads and lasses. Totally dependent on Ed and Ed alone to shepherd them through the perilous shoals of morning traffic. And to the safe embrace on the other side of the road. Well, when you put it that way... Congratulations, Ed! That's Frosty Dog, Ed. <laughs> Good, good morning, wee ones. Who wants me to escort you safely across the road? We do, Crossing Dog Ed. Our, Our lives are in your hands. Here we go, Crossing the Deadly Street. Deadly Street. Deadly Street. Here we go, Crossing the Deadly Street. So early in the morning. Nice, Ed. Real nice. Their safety is in your hands, laddie. Don't let them die. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be on crossing dog duty right now? Yes, but I had a bad dream, and now I'm putrefied. Petrified? Frozen with fear and performance anxiety. Quick, throw me that iron. <laughs> You're petrifying I am? Yeah, that's pretty petrified. Oh, well, I'm sure someone else can help the kids across the street. <laughs> How hard can it be? Besides, how are you going to get to school in that condition? Gee, thanks, buddy. Heine and the wee ones are counting on me. I'm sure I'll loosen up once the good morning sunshine hits my joint. <laughs> well, good luck, Ed. Not that you need it. I mean, really, how hard can it be to be a crossing dog? Say hello to the crossing dog, honey. He's going to protect you. Please don't let the big cars crush me, Mr. Crossing Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that sweet? She doesn't want to be crushed. <laughs> <laughs> now don't you worry, Pumpkin. With Heine here, the cars can't crush you, okay? Wait a minute. You're not Heine. No, I am Ed. What happened to our regular crossing dog? Where's our Heine? I like Heine. We like Heine too, sweetie. We like Heine a lot. Yes, we all like Heine. Who doesn't like Heine? But Heine is sitting this one out. And crossing dog Ed is taking his place. Right, Ed? Yo, we want us in good hands. You see, how hard can it be? Hey, what's he doing? She's going to be late for school. Let her go. Me go, go. Me go. go.